think that everybody dreams about work. Work is something that, you know, hopefully most of us do. And I always find that when I get stressed at work, I tend to think about it <clears throat> or dream about it more often. But if everything at work is going okay, I don't seem to dream about work all that much. And my latest dream about work was that the building that I work in had actually caught fire. Now, once in a while where I work, we actually do fire drills. And my job is to grab the nearest extinguisher and run to the source of the fire. Everybody I work with has a similar job. But what seems to bother me for some reason in this dream that I had was I was working. I heard the fire alarm. And I knew exactly where the fire extinguisher was. And I turned around, I looked, it was gone. No fire extinguisher. In its place was a fire hose. And I ran over to it. And below it was a fire hydrant. And I said to one of my coworkers, does anybody have a wrench to get this thing flowing? Nobody did. Everybody took off running. So I'm left there all by myself trying to figure this thing out. And so I think, well, first I'll unravel the hose. Then I'll take the, the front end down to whoever the fire is at. And then I'll go back and I'll try to figure out how to work the fire hydrant. So I run it. And it seemed like I'm going forever. And then I could feel it tug. It snagged on something. So I'm running back trying to find out what the hell's. You know, and I couldn't find anything that was snagging on it. But I went to the source. And I ran out of hose, and I could see the fire at the corner of the building. And I said to myself, wow, I need at least two hoses to do this. What am I going to do? And I look <clears throat> to my left, and I saw another hose, but it was behind glass. And it said, you know, break in case of emergency or whatever. So I go over, and I take my elbow, and I hit it. And it just, you know, my elbow was just bounced right back. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to do it. You know, it was, it was painful. And, you know, I said, what the hell? This thing doesn't break. So, then I grabbed the end of the hose, and I'm just beating the crap out of this thing, and it's not working. It's, the glass is not breaking. And at that point, I dropped the hose, and I, I said, screw this. Let the building burn. <laughs> and I started walking back to my job, what I was doing beforehand. And it was at that point that I could see, it was, it was really weird, it was like, the roof of the building, I could see the smoke just kind of, you know, just kind of going across. And I looked up, and one of my coworkers yelled at me, are you just going to stand there? We need to get out of here. And I said, uh, yeah, after I'm done with my work, because I know I'm going to get in trouble if I leave on the job. And... <laughs> And uh, they said, you're crazy, and they started running. And then I could start smelling the smoke. And I kind of did this to, you know, try to avoid the smoke and whatever. And that wasn't doing anything, and I started coughing. And I, I got mad because I, I thought to myself, this is just great. This is exactly what I need. I have to deal with this. And I picked up the phone and I tried to call my boss and and uh, he didn't answer, but I got his voicemail and it said uh, on the voicemail something something about the the building is burning, probably not gonna have a job, uh, setting my resume in to whatever. And I said that's great. Now we're all out of work. And I said I guess I'm just gonna have to figure out how to put this fire out or or else we're all out of a job. And so I'm walking around the building looking for fire extinguishers. There's none. I could see the the fire extinguisher mounts, but I, there were no fire extinguishers. So I assumed that somebody had pulled them all and tried to use them. And I went over to the, where the fire was at, and I could feel the heat coming from it. And I saw 
And the fire extinguishers were all sitting on the ground. And there were people laying beside them. And they were coughing. And one of them reached up and... And I didn't recognize who it was, but they reached up and said, Help, you know, help me. And... It was just like out of Forrest Gump. I, I picked him up over my shoulder started running out the door. Got him all the way out the door. And I saw a whole bunch of other people out there in the parking lot that were on the ground. And I set him down, went back in. You know, and I'm coughing. I'm doing this rescue thing, right? I must have done that three times. And when my last time I, I got done, I said to my boss who was standing there at the time, I said, this is stupid. Am I the only one that's going to do this? All these other people are standing around, and I'm the only one that's going to try to save all these people? And uh, he says, well, he said, you've always wanted to raise, right? Well, keep going. And that's just the the humor that my boss, his personality, he's a pretty funny guy. But, but I just kind of laughed at him, and uh, I said, this is stupid. This isn't worth losing my life over. And he says, oh, uh, he said, um, We've got a few fire extinguishers out here. How about if we um, douse you in the the fire extinguisher fluid, and then you can go in there and not have to worry about getting burned. And that was out of Tremors too, when the guy goes in there, you know, when they spray him with the fire extinguishers. That was at Tremors too. So I said, okay, fine, and I put on a mask, and you know, they spray me with all this. And I could feel how cold it was. I was like, oh my god, this stuff is freezing cold. And I go in, and I look around, and I couldn't see a fire anymore. All I see was brown, where the fire had burned, brown and black. And I walked back out, and I said, where's the fire? <laughs> and they said, well, you must have put it out. I said, oh, it wasn't me that did it. And I said, well, who cares? You know, it's out now. We can go back to work. And so I started walking back inside, and that's about when I woke up. So, uh, that weird dream, uh, as they all are, but I couldn't quite figure out what it meant. I've been thinking about that one for a little while, exactly, you know, you know, the building that I work at is so old that, of course, if it ever did catch fire, it would just burn to the ground within minutes, but, uh, Yeah, so, anyways, that was that was a pretty strange dream. Playing the hero, trying to figure out how to put the fire out. No fire extinguishers, weird dream.